so welcome back to my channel. If you are new, I am Tasha. Welcome to my channel. So today is the start of college advice videos. I did so many of these last summer. A lot of you guys probably found me from those. Comment down below if you did. But basically I did a ton of those. I got some really positive feedback on them. So I decided to start them up again this summer. Last year I did a video, What to Bring to College. And this video is going to be pretty similar to that one, except the items in this video are things that would be more unexpected or just the things you wouldn't think of immediately. I've done enough of these videos to know that some of you guys will think that items I mentioned in this video are obvious or are not unexpected at all. So yes, I understand that some people will not agree with these things, but for the most part, I think we can agree on these. Because I am just one person with one opinion, I wanted to ask you guys for your opinions on these items. So I did tweet out on Twitter and ask you guys for suggestions for this video, and a lot of you answered with things that I was already going to use, so that just shows that they are good items. But I will try and put the little name on the screen of the people who tweeted me these ideas to give them some credit. And I'm going to be trying to link most of the things that I mentioned in the description box in case you guys want to know where you can get them. Okay, so really quickly before I get into the video, if you guys are not following me on social media and you want to, I will put my handle, my Instagram handle on the screen and I will put all my other social media handles in the description box. It's just a great way to keep up with my life if you want to see me at college and what I'm doing. Okay, the first item is a Brita water filter. If you don't know what those are, I'm going to put a picture on the screen here. It's basically something that you put water in and it filters it for you and then you can pour it into your cups. This is great not only for dorm rooms but also for apartments. I live in an apartment right now but I did live in a dorm room so I know how they both are. And there are going to be times when you're so thirsty in the middle of the night and you don't want to walk down the hallway to your shared bathroom or wherever you're living and you just want cold water, like that's all you want. And the Brita makes sure it's clean and filtered, it's not like sketchy tap water if you're not into sketchy tap water. You never know what they have in those dorm buildings. So a Brita is a must, they're pretty inexpensive and honestly you're going to love yourself for having those because trust me, you are going to wake up like one of those Spongebob episode things. Do you know what I'm talking about? Yeah, so if you don't want that to be you, get a Brita. <laughs> okay, so the next thing I feel like I might have mentioned this in the video last year, I'm not positive, but it is a mini steamer. Once again, I will put a photo of what it looks like here. I guess there's a lot of things you could use instead of this, like an iron or like that wrinkle spray, but personally, I love the steamer. If you guys don't know what it's used for, it's used to get wrinkles out of clothes. I have so many clothing items that just get super, super wrinkly. And this is so easy, guys. Like, I don't want to mess with an iron. Like, I'll probably burn a hole in my shit. Like, no thank you. So, this mini steamer, you literally put water in it, turn it on, and then, like, the steam comes out. And it's so handy. My roommates always borrow this. So, yeah, I totally recommend it. It was very inexpensive. I believe I got mine from Bed Bath & Beyond. Okay, so the next thing is earplugs. For me, personally, I am a very light sleeper. And you will find in college that people don't give a shit. And they will be loud anyway. <laughs> so, yeah, either that or if your roommate snores or you know, whatever, earplugs are great. Or, you know, like I said, if you're trying to study in a library and you don't have like noise canceling headphones, cause like I know I don't have that, earplugs are great. They don't cancel out all of the noise, but it's definitely very helpful. Okay, this next item is not really tangible, but it's a Venmo account. This is not sponsored by Venmo, but if you guys don't know what Venmo is, it's basically an app where you can pay people on. Kind of like PayPal, I guess, but it's just, everyone uses Venmo in college. like. Everyone, if you don't have Venmo, it's like weird. <laughs> yeah, so basically, you know, if your friend buys you like juice, <laughs> you can Venmo them the money for that juice or you can request money from people on Venmo. It's honestly a lifesaver. The amount of times that you're gonna hear Venmo me or just Venmo me or I'll Venmo you in college is insane. So yeah, I totally recommend Venmo. You just like set up your bank account with it and it is perfect. Okay, the next thing I would recommend is some silverware. I don't mean you have to go out and buy like an entire set unless you are living in like an apartment or whatever, but this video is mostly catered towards like dorm rooms and stuff. So yeah, I don't mean you have to go and get like a ton of silverware, but just like a few, like two of each thing because there's gonna be one of those nights where you're eating like silverware, you're, <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, you're eating silverware. There's gonna be one of those nights where you're eating cereal at like 2 a.m. and you go to get a spoon and you realize you don't have anything. Um, I remember freshman year my roommate was eating cereal with a knife. Just, you know, trying to have silverware. Okay, the next thing is a drying rack. I never had one of these and I completely regret that because it would have saved me so much 
of hanging my clothes in the randomness is that even a word? Just hanging my clothes in weird places all over my room. But for a lot of my clothes, I don't want them to shrink and I don't want them to get all messed up in the dryer. So I won't dry them. And a drying rack is the perfect thing to be able to hang your clothes on for them to dry. They can be like compact and closable so they're easy to store. And yeah, those would be really helpful. I don't know what I've been doing. Okay, so I know that not everyone plans on going out in college, but a lot of people do. And if you do want to go out, my next recommendation is getting a cheap pair of... Oh my gosh, there was so much sand in these. What the heck? <laughs> I have no idea how sand got in these, but yeah, I get a cheap pair of going out shoes. These are mine. They're just these like faux leather slide on things they have sand in them so I'm not gonna hold them up too much these are literally from like Shein.com personally I recommend getting a faux leather pair like those because they're easier to wash off but you know white Converse are a popular option just know your shoes are going to get destroyed so don't wear your favorite white sneakers <laughs> um, just get a designated pair of going out shoes you can literally go to like Target and buy a pair of like $10 sneakers or whatever and just wear those out. I totally, totally recommend that. You are going to need them. Okay, the next thing is a bathrobe, and this isn't necessarily necessary, necessarily necessary, um, but it's great for living in a dorm. If you guys do have a communal style bathroom and you don't want to walk down the hallway in like a towel, a bathrobe, bathrobe, <laughs> bathrobe, haha. <laughs> A bathrobe is a great option. I have a really cute one with wiener dogs all over it. I love it. But yeah, bathrobe is just great. Like I said, if you don't want to have to worry about holding a towel up. And okay, the next item is emergency or airborne, any of those types of things. Basically, they're like vitamin C tablets or things you can put in water to drink. These are lifesavers if you feel like you're getting sick in college because being sick in college is the worst thing of all time. It's 10 times worse than being sick at home because your mom or dad are not there to take care of you and it is awful and most of the time you don't have air conditioning in your dorm so you're sitting there with a fever, dripping sweat everywhere, it's disgusting. Anyway, so along with just regular medicine, you know, you know, your ibuprofen, your NyQuil, your DayQuil, whatever, make sure you have emergency or something and start taking this if you feel like you're getting sick or just drink it every day. I know some people drink it every day and that's pretty good for you. So yeah, I would definitely recommend that because you do not want to be getting sick in college. Okay, the last item in this video is a vacuum. Oh my gosh, I cannot tell you how many times I needed a vacuum. This year I have a wooden floor and my roommates have a dog. I think a lot of you guys think it's my dog, but it's not. <laughs> it's their dog and they can only have it here because one of my roommates has anxiety, so he's considered a service dog. But anyways, I have this like fan thing, like this vent thing in my room that blows air and I swear it sucks in the dog hair into my room because most of the time my door is closed but I somehow still get dog hair all over my room so I have to vacuum like every single day. I just don't like having hair and dirt and stuff on my floor. But even when I lived in a dorm room, I had carpeting on the floor and let me tell you, my hair got all over it. My roommate was probably so disgusted with me, <laughs> but you know, crumbs, hair, random shit, like all over the floor, you're gonna want a vacuum. Yeah, so those are the 10 unexpected things that you will need in college. If you guys have any more recommendations, leave them in the comments because you can help out other people in the comments and thumbs up items that you agree with. Speaking of thumbs up, if you guys like this video, please give it a like. That would mean so much to me. And if you are not already subscribed to my channel, please subscribe. I will be posting lots of college videos as well as my usual fashion videos and beauty videos and stuff like that. I love you guys so, so much and thanks for watching. Bye!